My name is Harshit, uh, and I'm joined by my coworker Karthikeyan, uh, and we both are product managers in the Graph Connectors team. And Karthikeyan will be helping me in answering some of the questions on the chat, and he will also be posting some questions. Please, please help us uh, answer those questions, and we want to get feedback from you. Right. So uh, the topic today is cloud SSA and graph connectors, right? And and this is I what I plan to cover today. Uh, I will quickly give a brief introduction on what cloud SSA is and what is Microsoft Search and how we can help as graph connectors to help you explore graph connectors. If you are a cloud SSA customer, how do you explore graph connectors and kind of get value, get more value as, as a customer, right? So that's kind of the agenda in the nutshell. And, and I'll, I'll do a demo of Microsoft Search with connectors also. So um, with that, yeah. Quick uh, overview of what cloud SSA, cloud SSA or cloud hybrid search is our SharePoint hybrid search solution, and uh, which means that if you have a SharePoint on-prem installation, it could be a 2013 or 2016, plus some of your content is sitting in SharePoint online, you could use cloud SSA to index content which is sitting on-prem, which could be inside your SharePoint installation on-prem, or it could be sitting in your file share websites and a bunch of other on-prem data sources you might have, right? So this cloud SSA solution helps you bring all the index into one single location, which is sitting in the in the cloud, in the Office 365 cloud. And it lets you query from both sides. You can from your users can query in the SharePoint online, as well as your users, if they're sitting on-prem, they can query in the on-prem SharePoint search box as well. So it kind of provides you best of both worlds, essentially. Right. So if you look at the end user experience in this cloud hybrid search, uh, people can search on both and they will get interleaved results. Right. So uh, with that, in fact, I, uh, Karthik, and do you want to post your question? I, I'm just curious, like how many customers are in this forum are using cloud SSA? Yeah. And keep in mind, this question is anonymous. So if you choose to answer, please answer. Yeah. Otherwise, you can skip as well. Okay, Hashit, I think we can finish this slide. Uh, then we can go to the third question. Okay, thank you, Karthike. So, so that's the user experience. And in terms of uh, Cloud SSA enabling you to bring in content from non Microsoft uh, sources, Cloud SSA supports these, these things, as I mentioned, SharePoint site, websites, which could be non SharePoint based, on prem file shares, exchange public folders. Or you could even use line of, you can bring in data from your line of business applications, right? And for that line of business applications, what uh, customers typically use is something called the BCS, the Business Con Connectivity Service Framework. And either you use one of these things which are provided out of the box, database or a web service, or you can even write custom BCS connectors, which you could help you bring your line of business data into into the search index. So that's kind of the other functionality which is available uh, in cloud SSA. If you have to draw like a high level picture on what cloud SSA does, I think this is kind of a summary of that. So cloud SSA lets you crawl all your on-prem content. It could be SharePoint Online, Exchange, SQL Server, or any of the other custom line of business application. All that content is crawled and parsed and it is plugged into through the search content service which we have, which is in like an intermediate service. And eventually the content kind of goes and sits into the SharePoint online uh, farm, which is again owned and managed by your, uh, like managed by Microsoft, but it is owned by their tenant. So the data is all secure and within your tenant boundary, right? So this is kind of a high level picture of what Cloud SSA provides you. So now uh, moving along, so now introducing Microsoft Search, right? So Microsoft Search, as you know, is the modern search solution, right? I think this, this was launched a few years back and it is the intelligent search for your workplace, right? And it is it works across your company or across your entire Microsoft 365. And the same promise of Microsoft data is secure, private, and, and never shared. So you kind of are the owner of that data and you have full control of that data. Right. The results in Microsoft Search are powered by Microsoft Graph, and they are personalized for you and your your work essentially. And 
also Microsoft Search is available on any device anywhere, right? You can search in SharePoint, Office.com, Bing. We have Graph APIs available. It's also available in Teams and, and Windows Desktop, right? So just to show you a snippet of SharePoint, if I go to SharePoint, I can search on using Microsoft Search. And on the right side, if you see, if you go to Bing.com and then sign in with my corporate credentials, I can search my work content under the work tab. Right, so that's another experience which uh, Microsoft Search provides. So now, what about the external data sources? Like similar to what Cloud SSA provided, we have graph connectors which bring let you lets you bring in content from your third-party data sources, plug it in into Microsoft Graph, and once the data is plugged into Microsoft Graph, it powers Microsoft Search plus a bunch of intelligent experiences. There, some of these experiences are in preview. Some of the experiences are rolling out or in, in development. Right? I think we'll, I'll show you some glimpses of some of the experiences, but these are all intelligent experiences. One, and these are enabled once you bring in data using the graph connectors. So, and I think just going deeper on the, on the graph connector itself, we have three kinds of graph connectors. We have some Microsoft built connectors. We have our partners who have built connectors. And the third category is custom connectors. You can go and build your own connectors as well. So just to quickly show a demo of what I mean by the connectors. So if I go to the Microsoft Admin Center and under, under that, uh, which is admin.microsoft.com, and I, I log in with my uh, admin credentials, I go to search and intelligence tab. Here I can see data sources, and this is where I come and configure my graph connectors. So as you can see here, I've configured a SQL Server connection here, a Jira, an ADO work item and a bunch of other connections which I have created. And I can create connection for any of these 14 data sources which Microsoft supports. So these are the data sources which Microsoft provides connectors for. And uh, in addition, you can kind of go to this connector gallery. Uh, there are there's a, there's a link here and you can procure connectors from our partners also. So we have 130 plus connectors from our partners. So if I go to the search experience, if I go to my SharePoint site for my company, I can go and search for content there. So this is the connector. This is the content which is sitting in SharePoint. Plus I can search my Azure DevOps, which I plugged in, or I have a Jira instance, which I plugged in into, into this using a connector, or even the Azure DevOps wiki. Uh, I think that's another source we support. I'm just showing you a sample of these. And similar experiences you will get in office.com and also bing.com. So this is kind of the uh, what your end users will see and kind of interact with. So uh, in the interest of time, I'll just uh, quickly go through some of this um, stuff. I think we talked about this catalog, the search experience, um, and graph connector licenses, uh, licensing. Uh, Microsoft built connectors are free, but we charge based on number of items you index. Um, we for every E5 or a Viva topics license, you get 500 items free, and you can buy purchase additional quota. Um, we also have a three months free trial, so if you're interested, we'll provide you a link later on how to sign up. So that was the uh, search experience and the other intelligent experiences which I talked about. Intelligent discovery. If I go to office.com, I get recommendation and content uh, which is recent and shared amongst my peers or the people I work with. Today, uh, this content is primarily 1P, which is sh like SharePoint OneDrive content, but we are plugging in 3P content. So in this case, Go One Video is the content which is being shown here. So all the third-party con content which you're getting from your ServiceNow, Salesforce, all kind of data sources, you can plug in and uh, it will automatically start showing up here. Uh, there is Viva Topics, which is more uh, like content curation, automatic content creation and such. So today it's again based on 1P, but we are working on building this for 3P content as well. Uh, context IQ is another intelligent experience which will help you uh, contextually insert content from other third-party data sources. Right? So there's a so this was announced in, in November and we have a review coming up uh, later this year. Uh, Graph Connectors is also, it's already, uh, Microsoft Search is available in Windows Search Box, but we are also going to power Graph connectors in Windows Search, and this is coming in in June this this year. So you don't have to go anywhere. You just go to your Windows Search box and search content. You'll see content from your connectors. Uh, 
from your third party data sources essentially in addition as i mentioned you can build your own custom connector and this we already have graph apis available today we are also building an sdk and this sdk is in preview mode if you want to sign up you can try out uh, this and uh, build your own connector yeah so in summary i think uh, we are saying that if you are interested in this cool additional capabilities of graph con connectors you could pretty much replace your cloud ssa box with the on prem graph connector agent and it will let you crawl all your on prem content and uh, ingest that content into graph right and once the content as i mentioned is in graph it can power search and other powerful experiences right so cloud ssa still continues to exist but this is what i'm saying graph connectors is more uh, giving you more value and more uh, kind of features as such so that's that and this is a quick comparison or uh, between cloud ssa versus graph connectors so pretty much all the major data sources which are available um, in cloud ssa we support a connector here and uh, it it should help you kind of uh, easily move to graph connectors if you are interested so that's pretty much what we had if you are interested in exploring graph connectors please go to this link and fill the form as well and so we are looking for uh looking for customers who we can talk to and uh who are excited about graph connectors and help them uh, on board onto graph connectors that's all i want to cover cool thank you harshit on that one thank you karkayan on helping on the questions great way of by the way collecting input throughout the session and discussion there's more than 100 responses on the first one so really really good job on that mm -hmm.